guys welcome back to another video it's your favorite baby girl way and today as you guys already read from that title i am going to be comparing mason francis baccarat rouge edp with the x straight day parfum version if this is your first time seeing my face hi i'm wit and we can connect okay i recently made an instagram make sure you guys dm me let me know what's also up. answer questions in my dm as well i've been having a ball with everyone that's been hitting me up in my dm and yeah now let's get into the video when it moves and you put on a stink face yeah. Got all these guys fiend and they huddling around you I'ma just wait cause I'm trying to get around to Oh yeah, show off, you're allowed How you stand out in the middle of a crowd So these are both of them This is the Udi Parfum and this is the Extra Day Parfum um, Bottles wise, this is the biggest bottles in my collection I actually set it in my perfume tag Which I will leave in a card Let's start off with the Udi Parfum Let's start off with this one um, the story behind this one, it was like, as I was about to graduate high school, um, I went to Neiman, was it Neiman? Yes, it was Neiman Marcus, I believe. I actually said this story as well in my top five intoxicating perfumes, which I will also leave in a card. Um, I was saying that I just wasn't at that point that I was just thinking to myself, like, am I going to spend this much money on a little bottle? It was literally like, it was like $300 for the little bottle. And I was like, nah, this is a lot of money. So... The girl at the counter that day clearly saw that I really liked the perfume and this is when they were nice with the samples and stuff. Now all of a sudden it's like, oh no, we don't have any samples. Of when this. you ask to even smell this at Saks, they go into the drawer, take it out, spray it, and then put it back into the drawer. I don't know what's, what's the secrecy with this fragrance. I have no idea, but back to my story i was, what was I buying i don't remember the fragrances i was buying but because i had already bought so much other stuff like she was nice she was nice enough to give me a sample of this and i was so happy and i remember going home still smelling it nobody liked this i had sprayed it for my friend and she was just like yeah no not really into it my mom till today years later she still does not like baccarat rouge 540 um there's even times i try to trick her to really see if she really doesn't like it maybe because of the hype for the fragrance or maybe she just really doesn't like it and i would just like come with a little sample of it and just spray it on her oh, she's like, no i don't like it i don't like it but i really love this fragrance. anybody that knows me knows how much i've talked about this fragrance when I say that I keep this for special occasions, it's not because of the price point. Because in my collection, I have things that cost more than this joint. For special occasions, it's really because I just want to equate all those memories with this fragrance. When I smell this fragrance, it immediately takes me to different, different times. Like, and I feel like when I haven't worn it in a long time, when I haven't experienced the fragrance in a minute, that's when I'm able to get a lot of the older memories that I have with this fragrance because it's been a couple of years now and it's just like, wow. this specific bottle, Bay got it for me, but anybody that knows me knows how I ride for 540, okay? I'm gonna spray it. So being that I already have a sense of the day on, I'm not gonna spray it on myself. I'm going to spray it on a test strip. It just takes me to all my memories. It takes me to certain date nights, the carnival. I wore this to carnival before. It just takes me to so many different places. Within my story, I discussed that the small bottle, which I think is two point four ounces, is almost three hundred dollars. Now I'm at the point in my life if they tell me that this is never coming back, they're no longer making it, it's gonna be discontinued. Do you want to buy 10? I'm going to give them my card and be like, yeah, I'm going to buy 10. Not only because I got the mindset of a hustler and I could flip it and make some real bands off of it, not just because of that, but also because I really like this fragrance. For me, I think that this fragrance really does play the hide and seek game. When I wear it, I kind of layer it with the um, fragrance oil. So it's not as bad as in the beginning. In the beginning, I didn't have the fragrance oil. So I did feel as though it was playing the hide and seek act. But now I actually layer the two of them together. And I feel like that's why they're kind of at the same exact space in the The bottle. Eau de Parfum version actually has jasmine, cedar, ambergris, and saffron to me those notes are blended so well that i really just get a burnt cotton candy burning sugar type of smell i think this is very sweet while not being sickling sweet and that's why i really really like this perfume and on my skin it really comes alive they smell so similar to me this one is more cotton 
and it's a thinner wear and when you're wearing it it feels thinner the extra de parfum you can clearly tell that there's more oil in this even when it sprays onto the skin you can definitely see the cloud of oil wherever you spray it on your skin um i tend to spray it in here and i tend to spray it like you know inside my arms and also at the back of my knees so i can definitely see that there's more oil in those areas even though my first edp was bought in the store um i definitely do think that when you're buying from mason francis cartagena it makes more sense to buy from the website just with the way the packaging comes just with the way how everything looks and also they do send out samples as well for free they send out i think two or three samples for free and if you get to a certain amount you're able to get like a full lotion. I remember the last time I did a purchase on the website, I got a full Oud Silk Mood Lotion for free just because I had hit a certain amount. And you know, if you know you're gonna be spending money buying things from the house, sometimes I just feel like it's just easier to get it from the fragrance house itself. I know they have an engraving service as well for certain fragrances on the website if you go through his actual website, which will also be linked down below. It only charges 25 euros for the engraving service. So if you're interested in that customizing, then that's a good opportunity as well that I know you can't really get in store. On his website, this specific one, the Oud de Parfum, would be 195 euros for the 2.4 ounce. And that is way cheaper than you'll find on discounters. And that's actually cheaper than what you'll get in the store. And the extra de parfum version at 2.4 ounces actually starts off at 2.95 euros. I know it's quite expensive. Even though the Oud de Parfum actually lasts a really, really long time, I think this one is a beast, beast, beast mode fragrance. The Oud de Parfum is just beast mode, beast mode, but this one is the Eau de Parfum is just beast mode. And for me, I think it's just beast mode because it does that hide and seek game. Wherever you spray this for the extra, you continue to smell it in that area. Like literally the next day, if you spray either one on your clothes and you're going through your clothes in your closet, you're gonna continue to smell this. I used to spray this a lot on my scarf in the colder months. And anytime I'm in class and I just so happen to like throw my scarf over my neck I'm like oh my gosh I just got a crazy whiff of my fragrance it's like I'm thinking in my head like wait I hope I'm not annoying anyone with my fragrance because it is potent. it's so potent that I can come into a room after people have already been where I was and say oh yeah we smelled you we knew you were here already like it lingers it leaves a trail as I said in my top five video that actually introduced me into the fragrance world here on YouTube actually so I'll make sure I leave it in the card these fragrances are intoxicating like there's no way when you spray them nobody's gonna smell you even if you are light on the trigger there's no way no people around you're not going to continue to get whiffs of your fragrance it's just not possible to me this is the toned down version of the edp toned down and smoother version of the edp this has an almond accord inside and you can really smell the almonds and it's just to me creamy um, instead of me just holding the heavy bottle, I've sprayed it and it's woody, it's musky. You really get the almonds in it. This one I feel, they're both sophisticated, but this is the more sophisticated version. The Extra de Parfum is a lot more smooth, it's a lot more creamy. Like when I smell this, I think of virgin Indian hair like 28 inches of raw virgin Indian hair. I know this might be like a crazy comparison and something crazy to think about, but I get that smoothness. Like when you run your hand through some great bundles, Dream Vein hair, just that creamy lusciousness, just that luster that it has. That's what I get from smelling this part. That's the picture. The that Extra de Parfum version came out in 2017, 2018. Um, I don't know if it's because it came out after that. Yes, I have it and I like it and I layer it with the Udi Parfum. But for me, I think I'm going to have to go with the Udi Parfum. I think this one is my favorite one. If I had to choose which one to let go of, which nobody would be that wicked to make me choose such a thing. But if I had to be in the position to choose which one I would let go of, I would let go of the extra de Parfum. I don't know if it's because I had this one first and I experienced this one first and I have memories associated with it, I'm not sure. But for me, even though it does play the hide and seek game, I really like the Udi Parfum. I like the sweetness of it. Um, the almond is very creamy, like I stated already, but 
I do like the sweetness of this one. So I would choose the Eau de Parfum if it was me. And plus, the price is a little bit better than the Extra de Parfum. But if the price is really the thing, there are a lot of fragrances that smell similar to Baccarat. Baccarat is something that has definitely been um, imitated a lot. And some imitations are very, very close. There's some fragrances that immediately when I spray them, whether or not they came out before, Baccarat Rouge or they came out after I'm like that has Baccarat Rouge DNA because these fragrances are so popular you immediately equate it to I have something that smells like Baccarat like it immediately gives me the similarity if I had to go back now and just pick up one I would still stick with the Udi Puff. concluding thoughts on both of the fragrances they're both blended to perfection they're both blended amazing they both last very very well and they deserve all the hype that they get. It was actually a love at first sniff for me, so um, I'm always gonna have them in my collection. I really, really do like These them. These are fragrances that you have never been able to actually smell. I suggest that you get your nose on them. They do a sample pack of four, and they sort of come like this. If you do other orders, you get to choose two. So even if you don't order anything else and you just order samples, you get four that you pay like 15 euros for, and then you get to pick an additional two. And you know, it's great. You get to sample out the house without having to blind buy and get, you know, full bottles. And these are very expensive blind buys. I don't know if you guys are on that level of blind so buys. So this is always the best way to go. Once again, I will leave everything down in the description bar. Anytime I do a video, please make sure you check the description bar because I always put a lot of information and sometimes things that I didn't even say in the video, I added to the description All bar. All the videos that I made reference to, I will also leave them down in the description bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and until my next video mwah! bye guys hey guys welcome back to another video it's your favorite baby girl wit and I'm back again with the back again hey okay okay that was good Whitney got things and for me I low-key feel like these are one of the fragrances that could be described as me. Years later, it's still popping. Years later, men and women still enjoy it. Like, I feel personally, my pers with my personality, anybody could really love me. So, like, I just think it just works, in my opinion.